Hi there, this is Galen Martling. Today I have two masculine style cards. They are easily made with the same layout and design, the general design. So I used drink glasses for masculine cards. One is a beer glass, the other was more like a whiskey glass. And I'm going to show how I use Copic coloring to color in these uh, stamped glasses. And I'm going to also show how to make a little bit of glaze on the drinks to make it shiny. It's really hard to photograph. So um, if you can take a look at the motion picture, uh, once it's all set, you can see this shine when it reflects the light. It's almost like glossy accents. But in this, in this case, I'm using Nouveau Crystal Glaze. So now I have Copic markers. I list them here and on my blog that I'm using uh, various neutral shades uh, I picked for this. Also, for Unity Stamps, I have a cold one. If you were whiskey, the very best guy and farmhouse plaid paper pack. So I'm using those stamp kits and a paper pack by Unity. And um, here is pre-trimmed panels that I used. And I stamped first and then I cut them out using die cuts, but a paper trimmer, trimmer will work just the same. You don't need dies for this. Also, I pre-cut and um, sized the background panels and the frame, the wonky frame that I used for behind this. Uh, you'll see all of it layered together. Those were all pre-trimmed ahead of time to fit onto an A2 size card base. So now for the, the coloring, I just alternate different shades of sort of like a tan and rust color beiges and I use a little bit of light blue on the glass just to give it some sort of a different color from the background there and I gave it a little shadow at the bottom to just uh, mimic maybe a shadow for the glass now for the beer glass I do similar colors almost the same colors just different uh different layers of each. This stamp already has a reflective shiny look to it in the front that is all part of the stamp, but you can also add accents, uh, clear glossy accents, and that's what I did at the end. But this is great. All you have to do with these stamps is just add a little hint of color and um, it's ready to go. It just looks so detailed, but that's all part of the rubber stamps by Unity and it's really pretty. So I went ahead and used richer colors for the beer, and I like the, the colors I used, so I added some more over to the whiskey glass. And there they are. So now I'm using a plaid, um, plaid paper in black with solid black accent cardstock. And then on the second card, I used a tan crafty color plaid with dark brown cardstock. I layered one on craft uh, uh, card base paper and the other one in white card base paper. And on one of them, I made it for a dad. So I added a dad sentiment to the first one there. And on the, in the whiskey glass, it's just a general birthday for a guy. Now here's the, the Nouveau Crystal Glaze that I'm using. It has a pointed tip, so it's easy to apply and it's real liquidy and so it dried pretty quick so you want to make sure before you uh, go any further that you make sure that that glaze is completely dry before you finish assembling or um, using the card at all really and so you just add that glaze wherever you want i didn't cover the whole the whole stamped image i just covered like maybe the ice cubes and the rim of the glasses and the beer handle, things like that. It shows up so pretty. It's so hard to see in pictures, but it really does shine nicely. I love it. So I'm going to use that as well. The alternative is something called Glossy Accents. That's a product out there, but use what you have and uh, gloss up some of those images and stamping that you do. 
Thanks so much for watching. It's great to have you here and please like and follow if you will. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.